Hey everyone, I want to discuss the timing related options in On The Air Video 4 and how you can best use them. This one you might be familiar with, it is the absolute start time that was also available in On The Air Video 3. This changes your displayed start times in the playlist, it is just for informational purposes, but it is helpful if you are previewing odd start times and how rearranging content will impact your timing, like if you're trying to hit a ratings meter mark. Okay, combine that with our preset duration, which will really help content creators. Preset duration allows you to set the runtime of a playlist. So let's say 30 minutes and we'll report back the underrun or overrun offset. This information goes back into the schedule too, so you'll see that reported offset there. If you look at the duration column, the preset duration has replaced the playlist's calculated runtime. In light gray, the scheduler then estimates the time the next playlist will begin. It's good to know that the time estimate won't reflect if there is an under or overrun left in the preset duration playlist. Each playlist will play all of its content before starting the next playlist. If you need a playlist to start at a specific time, create a new event for that playlist. Let's close the playlist and let me show you something else. When you click on a playlist in the schedule, it will change the display time to its start time as well. In preferences, you can also set the auto update start times. So if your use case has you working on the playlist as it is playing, it will ripple the times in the playlist for you accurately. Okay, there's also one more option you can do in the playlist. Maybe your playlist covers an entire day with live events like a master control situation. Well, if you want to make sure a clip or live item starts at the right time, known as a clock start, you can right click and set auto start date time. Now as your playlist is playing, it will jump to this item at the exact slated time. Of course we want to worry about that clock start either cutting content off or being scheduled too far ahead where black could be in between. So when you add a clock start, just like the preset duration, we will have another detail at the bottom of the playlist that shows the timed clip underrun overrun. You can use this arrow to switch to the preset duration under overrun for the entire playlist. Finally, you can even use the timing window to show the remaining time in the playlist and have it announce it audibly. Five, four. Three, two. There are so many great new features, so subscribe to our channel to see the latest details and for more tutorials. And go to our website to learn more. That's softron.tv. There is a contact support. Feel free to ask us questions. Thanks for watching.